What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what $10,000 worth of electric vehicles looks like. All right, let's start out with the cheapest, smallest items first, beginning with the one wheel. So now this is my one wheel pint, which I have had for over a year now. And I traded my Luna Eclipse folding bike for this pint, which is actually the first bike that I made a video on on this channel. I love the one wheel. What I use this mainly for is to walk my dog and also just ride to and from short distances from like a parking lot or up to work or something like that. The first generation pint has a top speed of only 16 miles an hour, which is perfect for a beginner. But if you're wanting more speed, you might want to upgrade to something like the Pint X or the GT. The pint used to cost $1,100, but now you can get it as low as $750, which is a pretty sweet deal for something like the one wheel. Next up, we got our two Meepo electric boards. We've got a short board and a long board. Both of these boards reach a top speed of 30 miles an hour. I used to use this one to commute to work. And the reason why I have two of these boards is because when I had this board at first, I got hit by a couple of cars, believe it or not, and this board cracked, so I had to buy a new deck and take the old wheels off of the old short board and transfer it over to the long one. I made the dude give me money to uh, give me a new board, so I ordered that. And now I'm left with two. And like I said, I used to use this short board for commuting, and I also used to use it for walking my dog, which now the one wheel has replaced, because you don't need a remote with the one wheel, and you do with these boards. Now you can get both of these boards actually for the same price because it's the same specs, just a different board style. Both of these boards you can get for about $350 without any of the upgrades that you see on mine. On my short board, I upgraded the wheels to larger front wheels, larger front truck, and a larger rear motors. And after all the upgrades added, you're looking at about a $600 electric skateboard. And we also got a couple of shred lights on the front of those for night rides. And next up, we have the High Boy S2 Pro electric scooter. I just did a video on this, so if you guys wanna see that, go ahead and look in the description or click the eye up in the corner right here. This is an entry level scooter for any beginners out there. This goes 19 miles an hour and it's foldable. And it's the first scooter I've gotten for the channel. So like I said, if you wanna see that video, link down in the description. And the Highboy S2 Pro, you can get as low as $450. They're always running sales. If you guys wanna know what sales are going on right now, check out their website or check the links in the description. Next up, we got the Electric XP 3.0. I just put out a video on this today as of recording on this video. If you guys wanna see the video, links down in the description. You can get this bike for $1,150 and they also run sales just like a lot of all these other companies do. But this is a foldable, portable e-bike for anybody looking to get around town or maybe throw it in the back of their car or something like that. I actually really like this bike. This is one of the better foldable bikes that we've gotten on the channel. Shout out to Electric for sending it out to me. Hope to do more work with them in the future. And moving on from there, we have our first bike that we got for the channel. This is the Van Powers Manaday. This is the OG and is one of my favorite bikes that I've gotten out of all of them. Super smooth ride, I haven't had any problems with it and it's been nothing but useful for me. This is the more expensive bike out of all of these besides the Suron back there. This is a $2,000 bike, brand new, shipped to your door, but it's totally worth it. We got front suspension, hard tail and fat tires with a top speed of 26 miles an hour. And you can find a link for this video down below as well. And for the most popular bike that we have in my garage is the Suron X. This is the most popular bike on the channel by far. You guys love this bike. I know you guys wanna see more content on this. Only thing is that it's sold for off-road use, which is why I'm a little hesitant to upload and create videos with this, as you guys can understand. I'm really trying to avoid getting a ticket or getting it impounded. So if you guys wanna see more videos with this, go ahead and leave your thoughts and opinions down below on what types of videos you'd like to see with it. Should I go and commute some more? Should I risk the biscuits and ride on the sidewalks? 
what do you want to see? But the Suron X stock shipped to your door is $4,500. Now this Suron is upgraded and we have upgrades all around. So this is easily sitting at about a $5,500 tag. So if we add all of this up, starting with the one wheel, that's $750 plus $600 plus another $600 plus $450 plus $1,100, plus $2,000, plus $5,500. I think we're sitting at easily over 10K. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you wanna see any videos on any of these bikes or items, go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.